in this lecture we will learn about one very interesting theorem known as sandwich theorem so sandwich as the name suggests so there is a function fx okay so there is a function fx that is sandwiched so that is sandwiched between two functions gx and hx so this is g of x okay so this is h of x this is g of x and this is f of x so fx is sandwiched between h of x and g of x and if at a point c okay if at a point c what happens is that limit gx is equal to limit of hx and both of them is equal to l then because fx is sandwiched between these so at that point limit fx x tends to c is also equal to l so this is one very important property which will help you solve a lot of difficult problems okay so we will look at one of such problems so what is that let's have f of x is equal to x square sin of 1 by x okay and we want to find limit fx x tends to 0 okay so now if we simply substitute x is equal to 0 so this will be 0 into sine of 1 by 0 which is sine infinity so you cannot find it it's difficult so you cannot find it because sine 1 by 0 it's not defined it's in sine infinity so what can be done but if we see a little carefully so we know that sine of x what do we know about sine of uh, angle theta that sine theta is greater than equal to minus 1 and it is less than equal to 1 okay hence we can write here that x square sine of 1 by x so this is greater than equal to minus x square and is less than equal to x square because sin x can be it will be minimum is minus 1 so here I write minus 1 and it will be less than equal to maximum value of sin theta which is 1 so this can be written but now we see that okay this is sandwich theorem g of x is less than equal to f of x is less than equal to h of x okay and now we want to see the limit at x is equal to 0 so what is the limit behaving like so at limit x tends to 0 for gx that is minus x square so this is 0 and limit x tends to 0 h of x is equal to limit x square x tends to 0 which is 0 so we find that okay now both the left and right hand limit is 0 hence by sandwich theorem limit x square sine of 1 by x x tends to 0 is equal to 0 okay so we can write like this next we will try to solve another very famous problem that is limit so what is that so it says basically that limit sine of x 
by x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1 okay so this is one very famous problem and which the result we will be using a lot so how to prove this thing okay that so first let's try out what a layman first per time a person is seeing thing this problem will do so he will try to substitute the values but limit sine 0 is 0 and x at 0 is 0 so this is 0 by 0 form so we cannot find the limit but how we prove that this is 1 is we take a unit circle okay so this is a unit circle this is the center and what we do is a b and C then what we do we do such a construction and let's say this is D now what we say so this is a perpendicular here this is a tangent so this is also parallel to this one now we try to find the area area of triangle o a c so area of triangle o a c will be less than equal to area of this sector area of sector o a c so this is sector and this will be less than equal to area of triangle o d c okay so if this is the case now we will try to write the area and this is the angle x and this radius is 1 so we have from the geometry a b is sine of x okay ob is cos of x so now area of oac triangle oac is half into base oc into height which is ab and ab is sine of x area of sector oac so what is this one this is equal to x by 2 pi into pi 1 square so this is equal to x by 2 then area of ODC is equal to half into base into height and DC if we try to calculate so it will be tan of x ok so then we can write that ok sine of x half sin x is less than equal to x by 2 is less than equal to half tan of x ok so half for all of them gets cancelled so now we can write dividing by sin x because I am taking 0 is less than x is less than pi by 2 so for this 1 is less than equal to x by sine of x is less than equal to 1 by cos of x ok if we invert this so we will get what sin x by x greater than equal to cos of x is less than equal to 1 ok so now this is g of x this is f of x this is h of x now what we need to do apply sandwich theorem limit g of x x tends to 0 is 
1 because limit cos x x tends to 0 is 1 limit of a constant value 1 x tends to 0 is equal to 1 so this gx and hx have same limit 1 hence it implies limit x tends to 0 sine of x by x is equal to 1 ok so this we use the property of sandwich theorem and found the limit of sin x by x so i hope you understand what is sandwich theorem